Hey folks, what's up? Thanks for checking out Earhox Minis. Today we are going to do something completely different. I'm going to paint my cat. Okay, so today we are looking at Mercer the Lionheart Cat Knight figure from Blood Carrot Knights. I've never ordered anything from these guys before, so I have no idea what to expect. This model was released in June uh, this year, and after a long COVID wait, uh, it finally arrived. So this model looked really cool on the site. And I decided to get this as a gift for my girlfriend's birthday. So you will not be seeing this video until about a month after I film it. I am going to be painting this model to look like her favorite of our two cats. I know it's not right to have a favorite child, but she does, let's be honest. And I'm going to paint him to look like Steve French. Well, we'll show you here. And you probably saw him in the thumbnail. So these are our pieces. And this is the sword. Okay, so as you can see, this is a resin cast model. We have a really nice stone base. Um, Everything looks really good on this. Lots of fine, fine details. I'll just have this one piece to take off, of course. That's not a big deal. This is a really nice looking base. And let's see, what should we look at first? Let's see his body. Some really nice texture on the cloth. Really good details, some little lines and stuff like that in the edges of things. Some little bit of wear. Obviously not new clothing for this guy. And take a look at the head. Get his head on there. And that's his big pot belly pose. Oh, that's cool. Uh, onto the detail of this head. This looks super clean. There is so far not very much cleanup to be done on any of these pieces I've looked at so far. Looks like this is gonna be a relatively hassle-free preparation stage. So here's his head again. And we have his cloak or cape. And this is pretty clean as well. Nice cloth texture. It's not super smooth, I like that. That's gonna go on his back. Uh, like this, lining up with that hole. And we have, what else? The tail. I'll have to cut this little part off, but this tail is gonna go in here. Like that. And we have a couple shoulder pads. A little bit of battle damage on that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but the detail's really nice. Just tiny little nicks in the armor, and the edges of stuff. And we have a shield, which also has some battle damage. That's cool. Not too much. Not enough to be distracting or anything, but just enough to know that it's there. You can kind of see right in the area above the eye there and across the eye. That's cool. I just got a little bit of scrapey to do there. Nothing major. And we have an arm. I think this is the arm that will be holding his helmet. I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is awesome. This helmet is super cool. I love this. 
I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, taking this off, but uh, we will see after I get it built. And his other arm, or maybe this one's holding, I don't know, one of these arms is going to be holding his helmet. Um, looks like probably this one. And this is, actually I think this is going to cover where this piece is when it's built, so you won't even see it. See that weird spot? Okay. And the last piece is the sword. And this is pretty clean as well. Just a tiny little bit of scraping on here. So overall, this looks like it's going to be fairly hassle-free. We'll see how the gaps are once I get along. Um, it looks like where that fits, it's all sculpted in together, so like you can't even see. If you look right under his cheek here, where his n head attaches to the neck, you can't even see that seam. That's really nice. Because that would be a hard spot to fill with putty. But yeah, this looks great. This looks like really, really, really good stuff. I might have to get some more things from them. They have another cat knight um, that also looks pretty cool. And this base is great too. So I'm going to start cleaning this up. And we'll come back and do a little bit of the building and see how hard or easy that is. Okay, so the cleanup was pretty painless. Um, there was only a couple little snags. Um, really the hardest part was getting this part off, um, but that wasn't even that bad. And I knocked off one tiny little part, one little strap here. Um, these are really, really thin. And this little piece came off, but should be able to glue that back on no problem. Um, just need to not lose it. The rest of it all cleaned up pretty easily. Really the only thing that I need to do uh, before assembling is just to shave down some of these tabs um, so that they fit into the holes better. But that's about it, so I'm going to get on with that. Now, actually, I don't need to do any of that. This all fits really well. So I'm going to clean these off with some soapy water and start gluing. All right, so I got this guy all scrubbed down and these are the sub-assemblies that I built him up to. I figured this would be the probably the easiest way uh, to get him painted, considering how much, uh, like his cape covers and the shoulder pads, this will be the easiest way to get into all the stuff without hitting other parts and having to repaint everything. So I went down to his arms and head uh, and helmet, of course, attached to the body. Sword is attached. Uh, the shield and the cape are attached to each other, shoulder pads are separate, tail is separate, and of course the base is separate. Uh, the assembly went really smoothly. The only problem that I had was um, something that was my own fault. And uh, that's the little post on the sword. I didn't cut quite far enough and I didn't realize it till after I glued it. 
So it sticks out a little bit from his body, a little further than it should, um, and these little straps don't quite f go flush up against his belt, but in the grand scheme, I mean, that's, that's nothing major. My experience from building this model, I can say that at least this model, I definitely recommend checking out bloodcarrotknights.com. They have um, a whole bunch of cool humanoid playable minis, um, lots of really, really cool monsters. Um, they have busts, they even have a few 75 millimeter models. They all look really cool. Um, I'm sure you'd probably be happy with any of them even if they're half the quality of this one. So definitely go and check those guys out, bloodcarrotknights.com. This is not sponsored, this is something I bought, and so um, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I would def definitely recommend checking out their models, especially if you're looking for cat knights. They have two different ones. So I don't know if I ever told you guys this before, but I actually have a massive, really fancy spray booth right in the other room. Let me give you a peek. Isn't she a beauty? So this model was really fun. It was super easy to prepare and clean up and assemble. And painting it was really, really enjoyable. It was really nice to take a break from doing what I always do and do something completely different. It was also really fun to try to paint something to look like an actual thing, to have a reference and try to get as close as I could. I think I did okay. I recommend taking a look at the Blood Carrot Knights website. You'll probably find something that you like there. I know there's other stuff I want to get as well. I hope you liked this video. I sure enjoyed doing it. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And some other really easy ways that you could help support this channel can be found at the links in the description below. So hope you guys have lots of stuff to paint, lots of time to paint it. Stay safe, stay sane. I'll see you in the next video.